It was known as the Roscommon County Airport until 2005, when it was renamed in honor of Terry Bludgeon, the airport's manager from 1987 until his death in 2004, and his father Francis Bludgett, airport manager from 1959 to 1981. Not all of us have access to this type of transportation, but for those of you who do, our host and pilot, Lou Boggs, tells us more. When you visit Houghton Lake, most people think, well, you got to jump in your car and drive up here. Maybe you're on a bus tour and you take it that way, but there is another way, and that you can fly in up here, too. Lou, exactly. you've got a nice airport up here. Why don't you tell me a little bit about it? It is a really nice airport. We have two runways here. We have a paved runway that's 4,000 feet by 75 feet wide. We have a grass strip that runs north and south. That one is 2,200 feet uh, by 100 feet wide. I asked Lou if we could take a quick air tour of the area and view the incredible colors from the sky. Now unfortunately it was a small plane so there was only room for two of us. And before Denny had a chance to object and give me a reason he should go up instead of me, being he was the cameraman and all, I jumped in with Lou and off we went. Don't worry Denny, I'll take some snapshots for you. <laughs> A lot of people will come into the community, they'll fly in. Some people own cabins here and will leave a car here. You can leave a car parked here, fly up to your cabin, um, take the car and go. Or if you want to stay in a motel, there's some taxis that are available. So you could fly to the area, stay for a while, or fly up for lunch. There's a restaurant across there. So a lot of aviators will do that. And it's called a $100 hamburger. You take a nice flight, you go someplace, you have lunch, and then you fly back. Um, kind of an expensive hamburger, but it's a lot of fun and you get to enjoy the aviation part. We've got a, a mechanic on staff here too that, you know, if you have repair needs or problems with your plane, then uh, that is available also. Eric's a real good mechanic and a great guy and he runs the airport and really keeps it spruced up real nice. He's really fixed it up since he's got here, so it's really quite nice. Eric informed us that the airport has a new visitor center with internet access for all the latest weather information along with a snack shop and the airport can be a very helpful place for airplane maintenance, local activities and flight information. The interesting part about this airport and this area is that we have a lot of people that fly in here that are two or second home owners in this area. A lot of people from Ohio, Indiana, Illinois. They, are, they, are, they own second homes here, and many of them have their own airplanes and fly in uh, weekly, if not monthly, to spend time at their, their second home here in the area. We offer aircraft maintenance, obviously. That's, that's my business that I own here on the airport. So I, 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 I do major repairs, major alterations, uh, annual inspections, pre-purchase inspections, and any other kind of maintenance that one might need. Well, as you can see, this is an airport that specializes in small planes and is a great destination for a day or a weekend. Um, one option is like I do if you're into aviation is join a club. Ten people own this plane and we just sign the plane out when we want to use it and we right. pay for our flight time. So it's a fairly affordable way to get into aviation and it's a lot of fun. So. I would imagine it's a lot nicer than fighting all the traffic coming up 75 sometimes, huh? Yeah, there's not too much traffic up there. You know, occasionally <laughs> okay. you get around the airport and you have to jockey for position, but that's pretty rare and, you know, it's quick too. You figure you can save about half the time in a small plane like this. You know, if it's a four hour drive, you can do it in two hours or even less if you're in a plane. Not only are you traveling faster, you get to go as a crow flies. So it's a straight line and save some time and, and it's an enjoyable experience, so. Just a, another nice place to come in. Uh, as you're coming in, you can get a, a bird's eye view of the lake coming right. in and, and the whole area, and so it just, just makes it nice. Right, very picturesque. You can see our three big lakes, Hick Higgins Lake, Houghton Lake, uh, Lake St. Helen here in Roscommon County, and it's very picturesque, especially this time of year. You can see the colors are starting to really pop, and it's beautiful on a nice clear day like this. I mean, if you get up high enough, you can see all the way to Lake Michigan. We're in the center of the state. You can see all the way to Lake Huron. You get up about 5,000 feet, and it's just a beautiful vista. Hey, great way to travel. Nice airport to come into. Right. Of course, you're here at Houghton Lake. What more can you ask for? Right on, right on. Well, as you can see, this is an airport that specializes in small planes and is a great destination for a day or a weekend. 
Looking at the amazing colors around the airport, I knew we had to move on to discover more of the fall splendor located in the Houghton Lake area.